generational trauma. And really at its core, it's about a young woman whose life was altered by this random act of violence. Jamie Lee Curtis is a famous American actress, author, and activist. The actress made her film debut back in the year 1978 when she appeared as Laura Strode in a horror film titled Halloween. She went on to appear in several horror films such as The Fog, Prom Night, Terror Train, Halloween 2, Road Games, Halloween, Halloween Resurrection, and Halloween H2O 20 years later. For her role on the ABC sitcom titled Anything But Love, Jamie won a People's Choice Award as well as a Golden Globe Award. And in 1998, the famous actress was inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame. She's also won a Jupiter Award, a British Academy Film Award, a Mistfest Award, an American Comedy Award, a Saturn Award, and a Fangoria Chainsaw Award. Savior, this doctor who she didn't know. And the last thing she said in the movie to the doctor was that it was the boogeyman. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. Her full name is Jamie Lee Curtis, but she's also known as The Body, The Queen of Screams, The Scream Queen. She was born November 22, 1958 in Santa Monica, California, making her 62 at the time of this production. She stands at 5 feet 6 inches tall or 1.7 meters. The star sign of Jamie is Scorpio and she weighs around 136 pounds. The color of her eyes is blue and her hair is salt and pepper. Discussing the religious beliefs of this actress, she's Jewish. Did you know that actress Kelly Curtis is her sister? The actress also has pet dogs. The actress has said that she has no intention of undergoing plastic surgery in order to eradicate wrinkles or signs of aging. The hobbies of Jamie include reading and writing, and she's a huge fan of the World of Warcraft online video game. Let me tell you that Jamie is the godmother of actor Jake Gyllenhaal. She has 2.7 million followers on Instagram and more than 372,000 followers on Facebook. Although Jamie is close friends with the famous actress Sigourney Weaver, she has said in an interview that she never watched Sigourney's movie titled Alien since the movie was too scary. Jamie was previously addicted to painkillers and is now a recovering alcoholic. In 1999, the famous actress became sober from opiates, and after her father died, Jamie discovered that her whole family had been cut out of her father's will. The actress is a huge fan of One Piece and has attended Comic-Con Incognito. Back in 1990, Jamie, along with her father, helped finance the rebuilding of the Great Synagogue in Budapest, Hungary, which is the largest synagogue in Europe. It's worth noting that it was originally built back in 1859 and was damaged during the Second World War. In 2003, Jamie was a guest of honor at the annual gala and fundraiser for Women in Recovery. She also plays a leadership role for Children's Hospital Los Angeles. In 2016, Jamie endorsed Hillary Clinton during the U.S. presidential election. Since then, Jamie has been a very vocal critic of former U.S. President Donald Trump. The actress married Christopher Guest back in December 1984. Interestingly, she saw a picture of Guest from the movie titled This is Spinal Tap in Rolling Stone magazine and told one of her friends, Oh, I'm going to marry that guy. They got married after five months and together they have two adopted children, including Annie and Thomas. Annie was born in 1986 and Thomas was born in 1996. Her father-in-law passed away in April 1996 and Christopher became the Right Honorable. So Jamie became a Baroness with the style the Right Honorable the Lady Hayden Guest. However, Jamie rejects the idea of using this title. The actress has said it has nothing to do with her. Find her living in isolation. She's had her child taken from her years ago. <clears throat> she has a grandchild she has a little relationship with, but very little. She has no friends. She's the daughter of actor Tony Curtis and actress Janet Lee. It's worth noting that Jamie's father was Jewish and was the son of Hungarian Jewish immigrants. And two of her maternal great-grandparents were Danish. Her mother's ancestry also includes German and Scots-Irish. Kelly Curtis is her elder sister, while Nicholas, Benjamin, Allegra, and Alexandra are her half-siblings. 
All of these half-siblings are from her father's remarriages. Nicholas died in 1994 due to a drug overdose. In 1962, her parents divorced and his father left the family. The actress has said that her father was not interested in being a father. In Los Angeles, she went to Westlake School, which is now called Harvard Westlake School. Later, Jamie attended Beverly Hills High School and she finally graduated from Choate Rosemary Hall. Then in 1976, Jamie returned to California and studied law at the University of Pacific in Stockton, California. However, Jamie dropped out after one semester in order to pursue her acting career. She made her TV debut back in 1977 with an episode of the drama series titled Quincy. Later, Jamie guest starred in Columbo. Buck Rogers in the 25th Century and Charlie's Angels. From 1977 to 1978, the actress appeared in Operation Petticoat. She was also a game show panelist on multiple episodes of Match Game. During this time, Jamie also appeared in a TV series titled The Hardy Boys slash Nancy Drew Mysteries. And in 1978, Jamie made her film debut with the classic horror film titled Halloween. The film was a major hit and helped her earn accolades as well as fetched her several other horror films for the next many years. Jamie went on to star in The Fog, Prom Night, as well as Terror Train in 1980. The next year, she starred in Road Games as well as Halloween 2. Jamie's popularity in the horror genre tagged her as the Scream Queen. Then in 1981, Jamie appeared in She's in the Army Now. The next year, this successful actress played the lead role in the film titled Money on the Side. Then in 1986, Jamie was seen in a film called As Summers Die. In 1983, the actress switched from the horror genre and appeared as Ophelia in Trading Places. That reflected Jamie's comic talents. She then starred in Love Letters, Grandview USA, and The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai Across the Eighth Dimension. In 2018, Jamie had a role in the drama film called An Acceptable Loss, and in October 2021, she'll be seen in Halloween Kills. Moreover, Jamie is set to reprise her role for the sequel, Halloween Ends. The horror film is expected to be released in October 2022. the movie with audiences and <clears throat> it is a very powerful reaction david gordon green has made a very scary movie the actress has earned millions of dollars by appearing in several successful films and from brand endorsement deals jamie earned eight thousand dollars for appearing in halloween in 1978 then in 1981 her salary from halloween 2 was one hundred thousand dollars Two years later, the actress earned $25,000 from Love Letters, and her salary from Halloween Resurrection in 2002 was $3 million. She's also an accomplished author. Moreover, Jamie works as a blogger for The Huffington Post. The total net worth of Jamie Lee Curtis is $60 million. She has a house in Los Angeles that features five bedrooms and four bathrooms. It's worth noting that the house covers more than 4,000 square feet and was originally built back in the year 1924. Jamie Lee Curtis likely owns the following cars, a Honda Clarity Hybrid, a Honda Civic, a Porsche, a BMW.